Hello, so it's Mantha here again and I wanted to talk about what food we actually do have in before we've actually gone paleo. I mean, how far to paleo are we already? So what I decided to do was give you a guided tour of our freezers, our fridges and our cupboards just to see how much stuff we actually have already. So without further ado, this is our utility, our official dump ground until we decide what to do with a boring outbuilding. And here's our big chest freezer. We purposely bought this chest freezer just because we could make lovely meals without having to um, have a really small freezer and not be able to bulk cook. So, what have we got? Fresh salmon. Beautiful for cooking for dinner with some broccoli. Perfect for paleo. A homemade pate. No, not paleo. Dominic's put butter in that. Pork shoulder. Now we bought this today and this is absolutely perfect for making some pulled pork with. But when we do pulled pork, we, we make it with a Mediterranean sauce and we don't have any of the barbecue sauce that's known in America. Now what else do we have? Oh, one of my favourites, a whole duck. She's actually been sat in here for two months and we keep meaning to cook with it. And it'll be perfect in the slow cooker over the summer with this. And that's definitely paleo. Oh, we've got tuna. Right, what else have we got? Packs of beautiful Brazilian sausages that we absolutely love in a sausage casserole. Um, now these aren't paleo, but I wish they were. Anyone going to add hot dog buns to paleo for me? And there you have it, that's our freezer. Now, over here, it's definitely not paleo. These are my enormous bags of pasta that I buy bulk. No, I shouldn't have them, I know, but I love them. But on a paleo point of view, what I do love is my beautiful herb selection. And I bulk buy these from the Chinese, the Italian, like we have basil herbs, that's the Portuguese for it on there. We also have another one of my favourites, which is my fennel seeds. You've got your cumin seeds, perfect for making your own sauces to do paleo yourself without making it look boring. And I hope you've enjoyed that little tour. We'll see you in a moment in our kitchen. Thank you. Welcome to our kitchen. Our kitchen is actually green because we actually wanted to lose weight and we thought green, healthy eating and all, apples, avocados and things. And here's our kitchen cupboard. Now, Dominic's just been shopping, so we have loads of canned tunas to use, which are perfect on top of a green pepper for breakfast instead of egg and bacon. But we also have processed food in here, unfortunately. These very cheap and tacky hot dogs. They taste very, very nice, and but people always mourn about them and they're the food that gets done at the most for anyone on paleo. Um, we also have uh, mustard, great for cooking with. Um, light coconut milk. Now this is famous on paleo because it's the one type of milk that you can have. But I also find that when I'm reading about people that have lost weight or haven't lost weight on paleo, the problem is they have too much of this. And when you think this is the light version and this has nearly 400 calories in the whole thing, if you're eating this in your food every day, you're going to be consuming a lot of calories and no wonder you're not losing any weight. However, if you shared it between as a family for one meal, you know, you're hardly going to have any calories at all per person. Or you could use it as an alternative to the milk and you could have a can open in the fridge and then have a teaspoon of it on something to make um, your own cauliflower mash for example or a little bit in a soup or something. That kind of thing's okay. And of course we have the olive oil. Can't live without the extra virgin olive oil in Portugal. It's like the biggest staple. And what else do we have? Oh, naughty food. Um, duck sauce, unfortunately. I don't think I'll be having any much of that for these next few weeks, that's for sure. And that's about it really in there that's interesting. Oh, tin tomatoes. 
absolutely brilliant. And if you want a low calorie breakfast, a can of these is about 100 calories. There you go, just heat them up on the stove. Now let me show you through to our fridge. We've just been shopping this morning. Oh, well, Dominic did for me. And we have lots of fresh fruit and veg. We have loads of carrots, tomatoes. My favourite at the moment, avocado. Cucumbers, green peppers. We even have some courgettes in there. And then actually for lunch today, because I'm only doing the processed foods element this week, I have rice. Um, along with some lovely cauliflower sauce that's not strictly paleo but I'm going to do a paleo version this week because it's actually got dairy in it and a beautiful chicken breast and we'll be having that with some of our lovely vegetables and also we have some honey now in a lot of minds this is considered as paleo and in some it isn't I think that's because it's considered as a natural source of sugar but when you follow something like the Whole30 it's a banned food and I think that's where the confusion lies. We also have plenty of eggs, plenty of bits and pieces to go with it. Not all of it's strictly paleo but there you go. So now coming through into our little den area, our second part of our kitchen. Uh, we've got loads of veg today so we've got broccoli, loads of cauliflowers. The cauliflowers are going to go in the, uh, in the food processor so we can make lots of cauliflower rice, uh, cauliflower mash which is another favourite and cauliflower sauce. The broccoli is perfect with our salmon for lunch or alternatively what we would do with the broccoli is put it in the soup machine because it makes a lovely broccoli soup. And then over to here this is our herb cupboard. Now, I'm a big follower of herbs and I love fresh cooking, so we've got absolutely loads of them. That's my uh, bulk supply of oregano, uh, thyme, basil, ground nutmeg, um, mixed herbs, sea salt. Now, normal salt isn't allowed on paleo, but sea salt is, so do stock up on it. And we've also got paprika chilli powder, salsa which in English means parsley and mustard and we've got loads of other things in here as well which really do add flavour to your cooking and then also in this kitchen you'll find this is where we keep all our naughty pastas really not good, really not good so unfortunately these will be gone so all the sugar, the flour so week by week I'm quitting something at the moment and I'm definitely quitting these babies unfortunately but I get to keep these I absolutely love onions and they add so much flavour to something so if you're cooking something for lunch start off with some onion, garlic and ginger and you just cannot go wrong blast some chicken in and olive oil and you've got a lovely lunch so I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll be back with some more later. Thank you.